Namaste friends, welcome to Yoga Candy. My name's Candice and today I'm bringing you a feel-good flow yoga all the way from Chiang Mai. And today we're filming from the beautiful Chiang Mai Holistic Center. If you're ever in the area, I recommend you give them a visit because every Saturday they show movies, they provide sound healing, they do Reiki, they do massage, they do yoga. So they've got it all. It's a really beautiful place to be. Today we're gonna start off on our hands and knees in our tabletop position. Now, if you want any props, the only props you're gonna need is a couple of yoga blocks or some stacked books. But otherwise, you're just gonna need yourself and wearing something nice and comfortable. Make sure that you've got a nice, strong tabletop here. So you're placing all your fingers are spread and you're placing the weight between all four corners of the palms. Make sure your knees are stacked underneath the hips and our wrists are underneath the shoulder blades. Make sure you're not sinking into the shoulders, you're lifting up through the shoulder blades, pulling them apart. You're sucking up through the core, trying to get your belly button to meet the back of your spine. Let's close our eyes here and let's all together take three really nice deep breaths in and out of the nose. On every exhale, lift up through the pelvic floor. Now on an inhale, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, arch the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, arch. Inhale, dropping the belly. Exhale, arch. Now take your arms wider than the mat. So your hands are wider than the mat, but they stood in line with each other. We're going to, on an inhale, drop our right shoulder down towards the ground, looking up towards the left side of the room. And then exhale up. Inhale, take your left shoulder down to the ground. Exhale up. We're gonna repeat this three times all together. Inhaling down. Exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, inhale take the twist, exhale up, inhale take your twist, exhale up, one more, inhale down to the right shoulder, exhale up. Inhale, down to the left. And exhale, up. Walk your hands out long in front of you and we're coming in for our puppy pose. So take your forehead down to the ground. Make sure your knees are still underneath the hips. You can even bring your chest and chin down to the ground if you have the back flexibility. But otherwise, keep it nice and soft for now. Take some nice deep inhales here. Keep that breath nice and deep and long. On every exhale, you're lifting up through the pelvic bowl. And then walk your hands a little closer to the body. Tuck the toes, we're sending up for downward facing dog. Give your legs a little walk just to stretch out these hamstrings before we begin. Sucking up through the core and don't worry if your heels are not touching the ground just yet, that will come with time. Take a couple of deep breaths here. Now roll your spine 
vertebrae by vertebrae into a nice strong plank feel free to take your knees very slowly down to the ground for an easy plank if you would like to otherwise stay up in a strong plank just for a moment take a deep inhale exhale down and facing dog keep walking your dog just for a moment we're going to roll forward two more times exhale roll vertebrae by vertebrae look straight down and take your easy plank at any point take a deep inhale exhale back down and facing dog one more time keeping that core nice and strong in your plank let's exhale roll forward and take a deep inhale here exhale down and facing dog from here we're going to very slowly walk to the front of the mat take your time allowing those hamstrings to open up for you and we're going to fold forward in our forward fold just hold on to each elbow allow everything to be nice and heavy you can bend the knees as much as needed and you can even use your blocks if you would like to just keeping the spine nice and long so whichever variation works for you find some comfort and some ease in your forward fold now inhale halfway lift look up exhale fold inhale up to standing stack your vertebrae slowly all the way up into your mountain pose hands by the side of the body close your eyes take a couple of deep breaths lift up through those kneecaps big toes together heels slightly apart we're going to inhale the hands to the sky look up now interlace the fingers and exhale push your arms away from you now draw the in, inner palms together just make sure that you're keeping your shoulder blades back down the body we're going to do some neck rolls here extending the arms out long keeping them nice and engaged take your time with these neck rolls having your arms in this position will really allow you to open up a little more through those shoulders and through the neck take a couple more and release the hands give them a little shake out we're going to take a nice wide step out to the side of the mat we're going to come down for a wide-legged forward fold so keep your knees lifted up towards the body you're more than welcome to bend your legs at any point you're going to start to bend from the hips you can always use your prop come down to your prop or you can bring your hands all the way down to the ground or you can take your hands all the way down to the ground there's no shame at all in needing to bend the legs you can even find some movement just rocking from side to side bending through the legs finding what feels good in today's class is a feel good flow maybe even add a little smile on your face when you find a good amount of stretch then maybe just become still for three deep breaths lifting up through the pelvic bowl on every exhale
Inhale, lift, halfway look. Exhale, fold. Now take your hands to the hips, suck in that lower belly. Inhale with the strength of the legs, lift yourself back up into standing. Now we're going to take the toes out to the long edges of the mat, so our heels are facing each other, toes are pointing outwards. We're going to come down for goddess. On every time we come down, you can watch me the first time, we're going to inhale, open up through the knees, take the hands to the sky. On every exhale, we're going to bring the knees back to the straight position and our hands back alongside the body. So let's do this in your own time, inhaling, bending the knees, hands to the sky. You can look up, exhale, straighten the legs, hands to the side. Inhale, bend, hands up. Exhale, straighten, hands to the side. Inhale, bend, arms to the sky. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend, hands up. Exhale, straighten. Take a couple more. Inhale, bend, hands up. Exhale, straighten. One more. Inhale, bend, look up. Exhale, straighten. Turn this back foot a 90 degree angle to the back of the mat, the front toes facing forward. Coming in for our warrior two. Open up the arms, look at the right fingertips, bending in through that right front knee. Take a deep inhale, and then bring this right arm down to the floor on the opposite side of the right foot. You can always use your block. Then we're gonna inhale, this left arm up to the sky, look up. And then bring the left arm to frame the front foot, lifting up off the back heel. So now we're in a lunge. Again, you can always use your blocks if this is not accessible. And let's take a little bounce in our lunge. Now you can always grab your blocks. We're going to come in for pyramid pose, straightening the front leg. You're keeping your hips squared with the front of the mat. The front leg can be straight or slightly bent depending on your flexibility. We're going to exhale, fold over the right leg. Inhale, come on up. Do this a few times. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up. Keep that back leg nice and strong. One more time. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up. Remove your props, bend through the front knee. We're now in for our high lunge. Inhale the hands to the sky, back heel off the ground. Look up and straighten the front leg. We're gonna turn it over towards the other side. So come back into your forward fold position. We're gonna open this left foot out towards the long edge of the mat, keeping the hips nice and open. The back foot should be a 90 degree angle to the back of the mat. And we're going to inhale, open up through the arms, looking at those left fingertips. Take a deep inhale. On an exhale, roll forward, bringing this hand down to the outside of the left foot. Right hand up towards the sky, look up. Take a deep inhale. And then rotate, framing the front foot. We're back in our lunge. That back heel is off the ground. Remember, you can always use your blocks. Let's bounce through the hips a few times. Now, if you're very tight in your hamstrings, now's the time to grab your blocks and use them as a prop, just like we did on the first side. If you have the flexibility, you can just keep your fingertips on the ground. 
Stay nice and long through the spine. Your hips are facing the front edge of the mat. Take a couple of deep breaths here. And then we're going to be doing our folds. So exhale, fold. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up. Take two more. One more. And now start to bend through the front leg. We're going to come up for a high lunge. Come up off the back, the back heel. Inhale the hands to the sky. Look up. And then straighten the front leg back into our forward fold. Start to heel toe your feet closer together. We're coming in for our yogi squat malasana. So your heels should be a little bit wider than hip distance. We're going to start to come down into a squat. Now wherever your squat is, you can always stay here, grab your blocks and bring your hands to the blocks. Or maybe you can come all the way down, bring your bum all the way down towards the ground. Suck up through the core, keep your spine nice and long. You can move from side to side, find a bit of movement if this feels good for your body. And then wherever you are, close your eyes, let's take a few deep breaths. And release. Take your hands behind you and slowly make your way back down to your bum. Let's extend our legs out long in front of us. You can always just sit here, bending the knees as much as needed with your hands behind your spine. We're going to start to take a forward fold. You can use your block and just bring it on your legs to rest your head on to if you would like to. Or you can just simply hold on to the shins, the feet, wherever it is that you can get to. Let's take three deep breaths in our forward fold. Inhale, come on up. Send your bum towards the heels. Heels as wide as hip distance. Let's take ourselves all the way down to the spine. We're going to counteract all of that forward folding we've been doing with some lovely back bends. Taking bridge. Bring your heels close to your bum so you can, you can actually feel the heels of the foot. Keep your, your knees in line with your hips at all times. And we're going to inhale in lifting the hips up to the sky. You can always interlace the fingers behind the spine or just keep your hands long alongside the body. Squeeze the buttock together. Lifting up through the chest, through the hips, keeping those knees in line with your hips. Take a few deep breaths here. Release the grip of the hands and very slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, bring your spine all the way back down to the ground. Hug your knees in towards the armpits and draw them to the center, hugging them towards the chest. Keep your lower spine flat against the floor. Open them up again, bringing them towards the armpits. You can stay here, just hugging the knees towards the armpits, or you can come in for a happy baby, lifting the feet up to the sky, grabbing either the shins or the outer edges of the feet. Pulling those knees down towards the armpits. 
Let's take three deep breaths wherever you are. And release those legs. Bring them down together. So you're bringing your heels of the feet together and allow the knees to fall open. So we're in a, like a reclined butterfly. Allow the knees to just fall open. Don't worry if they're very lifted. With time, maybe you'll find a little extra flexibility. Take your hands to your belly. And we're gonna do some lovely deep belly breaths. Inhale, fill the whole belly so it opens up like a balloon. And on every exhale, you're gonna release out of the mouth nice and slowly making an ah sound at the same time you're going to be lifting up through the pelvic bowl as you exhale just three of these inhale fill the belly exhale sigh two more inhale fill your belly exhale release One more. Exhale, release. Relax your shoulders back underneath the body. Open your arms out a few inches away from the body. Palms facing up to the sky. Your fingertips nice and relaxed. Now extend the left leg out long and then the right. Allow everything to be really heavy, your feet a few inches apart, a little bit wider than hip distance. Keep your eyes closed. We're just going to take a moment here in Shavasana to tune into the body and to allow this feel-good flow to sink in and to nourish all of the nerve endings. Allow all thoughts to pass. Relax every inch of your body. You can stay in Shavasana as long as you like. If you want to end with me, we're going to slowly wiggle the fingertips and the toes. And then rotate the wrists and the ankles in one direction. And then in the other. Inhale, lift your arms above your head, stretch out the whole body as if you're just waking up first thing in the morning. And slowly roll over onto your left side body, keeping your eyes closed. Now very slowly push yourself up into a comfortable seat. Keep your eyes closed, making your way there. Sit up nice and tall through the spine, roll your shoulders back and down. And then inhale the hands above the head with the eyes still closed. Look up at the palms as they touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bow your head. Thank yourself for showing your body some love today. And thank you for practicing with me. Namaste, everybody. You can open your eyes. I really hope you've enjoyed this flow in this beautiful location. If you have, you can always give it a thumbs up so that you can return to it much easier next time. And if you guys want to find out a little bit more about me or about this beautiful location, then there's um, some links below in the description. So feel free to take a look. Until next time, everybody, have a wonderful day. Namaste.